Once we have created our table between the two categorical variables we're looking to analyze, in this case we're looking at gender and type of athlete, we can go back and ask the question, in this data set, is there association between gender and the type of athlete? We know that if we want to look for association, we will look at conditional probabilities. And that we condition on the explanatory variable. Here the explanatory variable is going to be gender. So we will look at two conditional probabilities. The probability of being a swimmer, conditional on being female, and the probability of being a swimmer, conditional on being male. To look at the first probability, we've conditioned on female, so the denominator needs to be the number of females. In this case, it is four, and two of them are swimmers. So the probability of being a swimmer, conditional on being a female, is 0.5, or 50%. In the second conditional probability, we've conditioned on being a male. There are eight males in this data set. Two of the males are swimmers. And the probability of being a swimmer, conditional on being a male, would be 0.25%. So from here, we can see that they are definitely different, and we have evidence of association between these two variables. We didn't really want to calculate these by hand. I'm showing you this just to remind you that this is what you're doing when you put the commands into our studio. We really want our studio to give us the percentages, and then we can make the conclusion. The command that you want to use is called propped.table. gives you proportions out of your table. The first thing that you put in is the name of your table. And the second thing that you put in is either a 1 or a 2 to get row or column percentages. And what they mean by row or column percentages is you are you conditioning on the row or are you conditioning on the column? So which ones do we want? Well, let's try it and see. And so if we do prop.table of my table and we put in one, we get something that looks like that. And if we do prop.table on my table and put in the two, we get something that looks like that. So the first one, we put in a 1 here, and we got these probabilities. And the second one, we put in a 2, so we got these probabilities. So we can see for the first one, we definitely got the probability of being a swimmer, conditional, and being female and male. If we put 2, we'll get the probability of being female, conditional, on being a swimmer, and the probability of being a male, conditional, on being a swimmer. The one that we care about for our analysis is this one right here, because we want to condition on gender. So we'll put that table into our lab report and then write up our conclusion. The other thing that you can use is something called a mosaic plot, and that's specific to a two-way table. And you just type mosaic plot and you put the name my table and you actually get a data display of sort of the relative proportions of the way people are in the, or the way the two variables are distributed so if we look at swimmers as proportions of females and males we can see that for the conditional probability of being a swimmer conditional on being female 50 percent whereas probability of swimmer conditional on being male Death is to maybe a quarter. And the very last thing you could do if you wanted would be to add a change the title from my table to something more descriptive for your lab report. And you use the same option that you've been using before, which is main. So main is the name of this graphic. So main equals, and we'll put it in quotes. So I'll put on here the dish conditional probabilities of gender and type of 